Hello drone racers, today I'm going to show you the solution I found for a FreeSky XM receiver problem I've had several times now. It's really frustrating to get this receiver installed and have it not work. Well, it works, but there's a problem. Let's take a look. So I have the Falcon 90 that I'm trying to review right now, and it's pretty small and tight, and I installed an XM receiver because it's a perfect little fit. I've got it bound, I've got it connected, everything's good, except for there's a humongous delay between the radio and input. And I'm not talking, oh, there's half a second of latency. No, there's sometimes 30 seconds to five minutes of delay between I switch something on the radio and it actually happens on the quadcopter. I'll show you in beta flight if I can. So here we are in beta flight, everything looks normal. This switch is my beeper button. That's the one I've been using most of the time. Yeah, so there, there it was already off. Like it just hadn't received signal in beta flight. So now everything just kind of figured out where the switches are. Now I'll flip my beeper button. This is aux three and we'll time it since I made that switch. There we go. And I can switch it back and it will uh, it will go back. Oh, there was fast that time. It went back to zero right away, but now it won't won't come back. And this is true of all of my adjustments. So if I increase my throttle, there we go. This is fine to take off with. I set it to about half throttle, and then there there we go. Ten seconds later, it catches up. Not a problem. That that'd be fine, I'm sure. This happened on the Leader 120 for me, and I fixed that by putting in an XM Plus. It just worked just fine. This was, I ordered some brand new XMs from a different supplier even, and these came in and did the exact same thing. Last time with the leader, I updated the firmware on the receiver and that didn't fix it. This time I tried updating the flight controller to beta flight 3.2, that didn't fix it. Here's what I found. In the Falcon, if I go in here to the model and to the receiver settings, the default, this is a D16 receiver, the defaults are channels one through eight. And I just increase this all the way up to D16. Now this decreases the latency or increases the latency. It makes it sl respond slower. So I don't need these extra channels, but now watch what happens. Yeah. And now you'll notice everything responds just the way it's supposed to. Everything is quick, zippy, it's right there. I get arm, it arms, it's fine. Everything working is working just fine now. I don't know why that is. I have no idea. I took it out and hovered it just to make sure it worked and it responds absolutely fine that way. So changing that receiver, if you run into this with your XM, I can't explain it. If somebody can explain it to me, I would be very happy. But for now I know the fix so I don't have to throw all these XM receivers away. If I change that to 16, and, and I actually think I only have to get to about 11 is what I saw when I was flipping through one time. It just started working when I started increasing it. But there you go, um, There it, it fixes it and it takes care of it for your XM. So hopefully you found this useful. If you did, leave a like down below. If this is the first video you've seen on this channel, make sure you subscribe because we have lots and lots of video content and giveaways. Everybody loves a good giveaway. And until next time, remember, sometimes it's just the random weird stuff that drives you batty. But it works now.